Hello friends and family of YouTube and I know y'all love that Airstream I showed you not too long ago so I've got another one to show you. The one I am in today is a 30RB Classic. Man this thing is sweet. Woo! Well we got a little bit of wind going on outside so I wanted to start in here to just at least get to say hello. Let me take you for a quick walk around outside, probably take about a minute, and then we'll get back inside away from the wind. And as I said, we got some wind going on, but it'll last about one minute out here. Anyway, I do not know my way around these uh, airstreams like I would like to, but hey, that's why I like to show them to you, is because you're seeing them from somebody that is not a salesman, not a dealer, any of that. I don't work for the company that makes them or sells them. We've got a backup camera system already mounted up there. There is an awning right here that will go over that window. Also, if you look down the side here, there is two awnings on this side. You've got one over this window here, and then there's one that goes all the way the length down this trailer. Now, uh, from what I have found out here, we do have, uh, of course, a dual axle. You can easily see that. And right here is where your tank uh, hookups are at. This has a 50 amp service. And... Uh, Right up under here is an area that's got a little uh, container where you can put your sewer hose. And of course, you've got your water hookups out here as well. Whether you're uh, filling up your holding tank or if you're uh, hooking up to the city water. And you've got two propane tanks. And you've also got a battery box here that you can uh, close up and keep your battery contained in there. Of course, you've got an electric tongue jack. They don't cut any corners when it comes to these things. And there's also an awning on here. So you've got four awnings over this RV if I've kept my count up. <laughs> so anyway, let's get inside this thing and show you around the inside because the outside of these are impressive anyway. Everybody loves the look of the outside, but man, I tell you what, once you get inside of them, it's hard to come out. And here is the door, and that is right at the front of the trailer. And that's what we're looking at right here is the front of the trailer. If you're wondering what that little design is on the couch, that is coming from the fan that is up here in the ceiling. So uh, it's just a, just a shadow of, of the sun coming through. But what I want to tell you before I forget... This thing comes from the factory with 270 watts of solar on the roof. So, man, isn't that wonderful? And we've got the lights turned on in here today. So, uh, this thing comes ready to go. It's got your solar on there. It's got your uh, batteries already installed. Don't see that on many other models. So, let me uh, go ahead and show you these windows. Let you see how they work. Now, if you notice right now, it's completely closed off. You don't have any any way for anybody to see in or for you to see out. But what I can do is I can take this right here, get my fingers inside of it, and now we have moved it from nighttime to like a daytime. And you can barely see out of that, but there's not any way that somebody could see in from the outside. So now I grab it down here one more time, pull it up. Now I've got it to where I can completely see out. So anyway, man, we have got a real nice couch here. You've got a USB port inside the side of the couch there. And uh, as you notice, there is some good cabinetry going on here. Let me open that up and let you see what's going on. Look at there. So it's back about 18 inches deep. And you've got CO2 and smoke detectors and all that great stuff. That's what's going on right here. And you've got lights that are mounted into the ceiling, of course. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, do have a fan up here. And before I get too far away from it, hopefully you can see what's going on here. There is a light inside back here just to kind of give you some ambiance. Now, there's a word that you've never heard me say on this channel before. <laughs> So uh, anyway, you've got a USB port on this side of the couch as well. 
and you got a fire extinguisher down here and now we are reaching right back to the door where we came in at right there you could put you some maps you could put some uh magazines or whatever books you need to in there and you've got a cutting board that uh, will lift up give you a little bit, bit more counter space and right here beside the doorway you've got where you can hang some hooks up uh, or on those hooks you can hang your jacket or whatever you need to and you've got some very deep cabinetry up here this again sits back about 20 inches deep and you can tell that man you've got plenty of room to store plenty of goods now while we're here let's go ahead and show you this sink I don't know what this material is whether it's marble or whatever that is not not an area that I'm an expert in by no by no trade but uh, I would say that is close to half inch thick of whatever this material is very heavy very heavy duty and you can see that we have like a stainless steel uh, sink and that is a single bowl and this faucet will come out to where you can maneuver it around and uh, wash anything you need to and down here below you've got some storage you've uh, they've actually got you a uh, Got you a garbage can installed and you've got a couple of drawers here to pull out and you've got uh, where you can store your silverware in under here and right next to that you've got a microwave and down below the microwave you have a drawer that man that is huge that sits about 10 inches deep and it is about two foot by two foot so you could definitely put you some large pots and pans in there and right here you've got you an oven look like a big pizza box in there <laughs> and down below there's another storage uh, area as well so uh anyway let me show you the other side of this kitchen area all right well uh you've got this uh dinette set up here and of course you can take the dinette and you can break that down and make a uh Make like a small bed area with that and of course you've got windows there that will open up just as I showed you earlier but let me show you some of the storage that you've got over over the uh, dinette and again that sets back about 18 inches and it goes all the way across this front section here which hey this front section is probably at least uh, probably six foot long let me show you what we got here we've got a panel that will tell you hopefully I can yeah I believe you can see that anyway it will tell you how much propane you do or do not have it'll tell you the same with your water levels and your battery so man that is pretty sweet and uh, you have a Sirius XM satellite radio system and I have not been trained on what this system here is but uh, anyway you do have a TV and I left that out when I went across the wall here but you do have a TV there and the great thing of that TV is is if you are sitting at this dinette you have a great view of it and if you are sitting at the very front of the uh, trailer here you definitely have a great view of the TV also if you're working in the kitchen and if you are at the uh, at the sink area you could also see your uh, your TV as well all right so let's go into the kitchen area a little deeper and look at this domestic refrigerator freezer combo and uh man i tell you what this is a pretty good size one i wouldn't say it's a residential size but it's not too far from it it's probably about six to seven cubic foot i would think and uh you've got some storage here next to it to show you how these these little knobs will go in that way it kind of gives you a flush fit but you can push that the knob pops out now you can open the door and when you slide that out, look at here, you could put all kinds of canned goods, put you some canned hash, canned tamales, all that good stuff. That's the kind of junk I eat. And uh, right above there, you've got a little storage. This is probably for like spices. I would think you'd put all your spices in here because this only sits back about four inches deep. And uh, there's three of those little sections in there. And again, this is a 30 rb classic if y'all want to look up on the uh, internet and get a little bit more details of it uh, again this is not something that i do a lot of so uh, i'm sure i'm leaving a lot of stuff out 
Now I am right across from the refrigerator. I'm about halfway through the trailer here. And you see that you've got a, uh, a bar across here where you can store clothing. And that whole system there, that goes back a good arm's length. I'm going to say that's probably 20 inches, maybe two foot. And I am right beside that door system I just showed you, the cabinet and uh, closet, I guess you could call it. And we've got a way to close off the bedroom so that you've got some privacy. And you can see that it would really be hard for somebody to see through that material, but it's still breathable. So uh, that way air can travel through this because it does have holes in it uh, to, to give hot air or cold air a way to be able to reach the back area. So let me show you what's going on in the shower setup here. All right. Here you can you can sit down on this and uh, do your showering. Maybe uh, keep your uh, your feet cleaned up that way a little easier. And uh, you've got your shower head up here. Everything will rotate on this uh, this bar here. And you've got your own little fan in here to give you some uh, release of the uh, the steam. Now I will say this, with me being six foot one, this is a tight quartered area here. You do have to uh, bend over to, uh, to get your hair washed. But I tell you what, that's probably the reason they put this seating area in here is that you can stand up, wash all of your body, and then when you want to do your hair, hey, it'd be great just to sit down there and that way you don't have to worry about scrunching down. And something I like is this this door is magnetic. You can you can just feel it pull it out of your hand when you get it close to it. And it's got a good snug. That that's just a magnet holding it, which is gonna help keep your water inside the shower. And while you're in uh, transit mode, you got a little lock here, or if you want to lock somebody in there where they don't come out anymore, you can just turn that little lock and keep them in there. And right here being the shower, right across from the shower is the toilet area. So let's go in here and see what we got going on. We'll have to find a way to turn the light on inside of here. All right, y'all know I'm a country boy from Alabama, so it took me a few minutes to figure out how to get the lights on. But as I came up to this little panel here, when I come into the bathroom, I could see that this was lit up. So I just pushed this right here <laughs> and the lights came on. So uh, anyway, we've got a couple of lights in here and you've also got a personal vent in here so that if somebody was making some stinky smells, then uh, you could definitely get those smells out of here. And you've got an area up here right over the toilet that you could store. Uh, maybe your toilet paper, that sort of thing. And you've got a rack here that you could also hang some towels on. And this is a porcelain toilet. This is not a plastic one. So, got that, uh, when you knock on it, it's got a different sound to it. And right here you've got a, I would assume this is where you put your dirty laundry at. Or you put whatever you wanted to in there. But uh, to me, that would be a great place to put your dirty laundry. And you've got a good size sink here. I like how much room this is to give you an idea. There's my hand. Look how much room you've got in this sink. That is huge. And you've got an area right here. You can put curling irons, your brush, your toothpaste, all that kind of stuff. And of course you could right there. And you've got an area here. This is big enough. You could put a hair dryer or razor, electric razor set up. You've got a uh, outlet right there to be able to hook them into. And right here, I not sure how to operate that but i got it all right so you've got an outside window so while you're in the bathroom you can make faces at somebody outside all right so anyway uh you've also got a mirror inside the bathroom and uh man yeah it goes all the way to the, just about all the way to the ceiling and i don't believe i talked about it but underneath the sink area you do have some storage down here below and you've got some right here as well. This is just an access, basically. Okay, now earlier I pulled this door shut and showed you how you could still somewhat see through it. Okay, and right here is the uh, showering area. Now, what I didn't realize at the time is there is another one right here. So you can undo this, pull that across, 
same thing so if somebody wanted to come in and use the bathroom area going back and forth and wanted to have privacy but yet access this way you could pull that door across they could access the people in there wouldn't be able to see see what's going on and the same goes with pulling this across so you've got you've got plenty of privacy going on now before i get in there and show you the bed area i want to show you this there is a little beeping going on and hopefully you can see that so it's telling me that my output is very low for the uh, co1 so i'm not sure what that is but it says that it's critical and now i can acknowledge that and that will get rid of the beeping sound and it goes right back to the main panel so there's all kinds of stuff you can do on this panel, which of course I've not been trained on, but I just wanted to show you that. So anyway, let's get in here and show you the bed area. Man, how about this? So you have one, two, three, four, five windows in this bed area. You've got, uh, got this main window here. You got corner windows, big window behind you, corner window again, and another big window so uh man yeah and of course you've got the bed here good size bed i do not know if this is a queen but i believe it is and also you've got storage beside the bed and these uh these mattresses here that you uh or not mattresses cushions i'm sorry that is for the dinette so that when you turn the dinette into a bed you've got those cushions there so right beside the bed, you've got these drawers that'll pull out here and give you some good little storage. And right beside the bed, you've got outlets there, USB and a standard 110. And that's great if you have a CPAP or if you want to put your uh, put your cell phone on charge, you've got a, got a way to do that. And let me show you what's going on up in here in the cabinet. So you've got some storage area right above the bed. And I'm going to tell you something this is a very very comfortable mattress very comfortable that is the most comfortable mattress i have seen in a travel trailer very nice okay now this piece of paper it was laying inside of here and what this is is this uh comes with every every one that's made and it also will show you the msrp this is not the price that these guys are selling it at this is uh, kind of like a fax sheet. So if you want to uh, pause it on any of this, what I want you to be able to see here is uh, all of the all of the things that come with this particular model. Man, I tell you what, this thing is loaded. There is no way this video I just did will do this unit justice but that's the fun of it folks i love getting out here and doing this y'all know that i don't ask y'all for money or anybody else i don't work for the company that makes them or sells them i enjoy doing what i do and uh so anyway there is uh there's your price right there and i don't believe that i mentioned it but hey i am over at rocket city rv and I will try to leave you a link down or uh, maybe a picture here in just a second and give you a way to call them and find out what they're selling it for. Because like I said, I don't work here. I do not know the price, but uh, there's a ballpark right there because that is your suggested retail price. I don't believe I have ever in a video talked about the flooring of an RV, but this flooring material is almost like a, um, it's, it's like a fabric, like a nylon fabric. So it's very soft to the, uh, the foot and it gives you a very good traction. But, uh, anyway, that's the first time I've ever noticed anything like that in an RV before. So of course, uh, leave it to Airstream to do something different, right? Today's camping RV tip comes from Mike Pacelli. Hey, he has got a wonderful Facebook page that, uh, man, if you like to follow his travels over on his Facebook channel, it is called the Itinerant Italian. I'm sure he will leave a comment 
as he always does and uh he will leave a um leave a link and i will pin that to be the very first comment on this video so once you see his uh his comment follow along and see uh see his page wonderful stuff anyway what mike has suggested is out here outside of my rv and anyone's this is right by the door what we're uh what we commonly do is we will set a table up out here and we will plug in whether it's a crock pot or any kind of um anything that might pull some heavy juice of electricity out of it Mike suggested instead of plugging into here, what we should do, and let's walk around to the other side of the RV to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Well, here is where my electricity comes out of the RV. And when you're at a campground, you will take this and you will plug this into uh, the main electricity panel at your uh, campground. Well, instead of just doing that, you, you still want to do that. But what Mike has suggested, which I think is great, is instead of plugging in your item that's going to pull heavy juice through here, through, through your RV, is run an extension cord from that crock pot that you've got set right there on that table. Run that extension cord over to that same panel that you have plugged in your RV to, and the reason you want to do that is because if you're on 30 amp service and let's say you have your air conditioner inside your RV running or anything else, you're pulling a lot of juice through this system. So to keep from pulling even more juice through your system, you want to plug an extension cord and run that over to, uh, to the panel. And uh, that way it might keep you from popping a breaker or uh you know sometimes these wires can get a little warm if you're pulling too much juice through them so very good tip from uh, mike pacelli and hey i tell you what if y'all have got any good camping or rv related tips y'all leave them down in the comments below and uh, hopefully you'll uh see or hear them on an upcoming video as well folks i hope y'all enjoyed this one as much as i did please leave down in the comments down below y'all let me know what you liked about it or would uh, like to have seen different on here but uh man i tell you what if y'all want to see some more of these y'all let me know because i really enjoy doing them and uh i apologize for not knowing all the tips and tricks on these things i know these things are like transformers man you can push a button and turn this thing into into an army tank or whatever Folks, I appreciate y'all uh, spending some time with me today. I really enjoyed it. Hope y'all did, and I hope to see y'all real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.